This is a Honda. <laughs> I knew I it. I was waiting for <laughs> that. Up Harley. We're picking up a Honda. That's right. Yeah. Pulling out, heading to the next location. But first, who are we going to meet? The we are going to meet Two Wheels Big Life. Yes. Chris and Richard. Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Richard. And this is Two Wheels Big Life. Yes. I hang out with them. Did I miss the turn? Maybe have lunch. No turn. Yeah, you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, you come out right there. Yeah. All right. Yep. And turning left. Left. Beautiful campground. Great for families. And when we <laughs> pull up in a campground and set up our setting, it amazes everybody. Yep. Look how they looking now. Everybody want to come out and wave and look and see who's on the bikes and what we're pulling. Okay, I've got to pull over for a second. I need to put my glasses on. Because right. you know I'm not putting my shield down. Yeah, as we was packing, a lady came by and said, yeah, we all were wondering, how did they put that on the bike? <laughs> and then when we fold it down, she was like, that is amazing. And this happens all the time. Everybody loves right, patches. <laughs> oh, that's very inconsiderate. You can't go around? Yep. Nope. Somebody can't use the restroom, but they park right in the middle where no vehicles right go on either side of them. This is why we don't like camping at these type of locations with a thousand cars. And right. for the most part, people are extremely nice, but they always have somebody who who messing everything up. Site 17. And I absolutely love it. Now we know there's a kids play area, which probably not gonna pick it up on cam camera as we passing. There are walk in tent only areas, which is what we passing right here, up there. Not even close to being leveled. Yeah, there's the sign say walk in tent area. They have a pavilion, playground, swim area. And this is our fourth time here. First time in the fall, so we absolutely love it. And the road getting here is a motorcycle road. <laughs> <laughs> it is beautiful. Hold on the right. Copy that. Hold on the right. And look at this magnificent motorcycle road so we are headed out to Arkadelphia like Philadelphia in Arkansas Arkadelphia <laughs> we are oops got to find out 30 mi 35 miles away so I'm turning off everybody we are stuck on side of the road in Arkansas. Arkansas. Day 220 something on the road. I don't remember exactly what day it is. Okay. 22nd day of our vacation. Rome in the USA and the Gold Wings. Acting crazy today. We were headed out to meet somebody you all know, Rich and Chris, Two Wheel Big Life. Two Wheels Big Life and let me just get to it. Jet Blue is acting a damn fool right now. <laughs> he don't want to go past 40 miles an hour. Yeah. Just chugging, got me chugging up hills. Come on, Jet Blue. Uh, we guessing transmission, final drive. Who knows what's going on okay. with this thing? Now, we brag on Gold Wings. We both they'll have over 150,000 miles on these things. Yes and have been taken care of. But finally, you know, it is what it is. It happened. Poop happened, that's what it is, poop 
poop happened. Poop. Poop. <laughs> poop happened. But so we okay. are waiting for some assistance. Rich going to check with somebody to see if he have a trailer to tow us. We have a Honda dealer super close by, like 14 miles, that is going to take the bike in. We don't know if we're going to be able to work on it today, so now we got to make a decision, or we have no choice but to find somewhere to stay at least the weekend if we can't work on it today and up to Tuesday. But we don't know what's wrong with it. Hopefully, you don't have to order no parts and we stuck out here. Well, we'll just leave it there and we ride in two up after that. Oh, never go. Stuck, baby? Hello? Yeah. Okay, and some tie downs, because I don't have any straps. Okay, I think Rich got a hold of somebody. Yeah, it's a gold one. And I think he said his nephew coming to the rescue so we can get it to the Honda dealer. Um, yeah. And then we're just going to ride two up from there. All right. Okay, I got a smile on my face. What's going on, baby? Because Rich from Two Wheels Big Life just saved the day. He got a trailer. He's going to come and pick up JetBlue and Bubbles. Wow. And take it to where I need to go to see what's going on with it. That's the good part. So I'm happy about that. We just got to find out what's wrong with <laughs> right. it. Right. And how much it's going to cost. And how much it's going to cost. So my cash app is. <laughs> That's why everybody's got to have some emergency funds. <laughs> She's talking about her cash app. My cash app is I got Zelle. Send got, money. I got. Just I got. <laughs> Dang. Hey, she, we so stuck she keep I dropping even, her phone. I even have the number to the Honda dealer that I'm taking it to if y'all want a Zelle. They turn it right here. And cash app them. Yeah. So we got to get out the way because he's about to make a turn. Yeah, he got it. So, I hope we ain't blocking nobody's driveway. But, this is the life we choose to live. Still having a good time, even though it's not a good time right now. Yeah. So we're not even going to fake like we happy. And we have some cheese and crackers and some wine. Let's just dine, right? <laughs> We haven't even ah. eaten breakfast. We're pulling out. We was camping at Lake Catherine State Park. Oh, yes. Yeah. JetBlue doesn't feel like flying today. We sure don't. <laughs> and they have gas in it. They have oil in it. Have what? Earl. Earl, oil. yes. Oil. Oh, for those of you who don't know, Earl we is oil. Earl. And they have gasoline. We speak two different languages. We speak New Orleans and we speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we're going to sign off waiting for uh, the rescue to come. Vehicles coming around this thing really, really fast. I hope we can get it up a little higher, Kate. Push it up a little, maybe get it a little further because they come around this corner kind of fast. And if somebody lose control, I'm going to be on the hill. You know, right next to my bike. Anyway, we're waiting, patiently waiting. Stay right here, stay here because if you come with the trailer, you'll need room to park and you can move your bike. Okay, your that'll work. You always see the good things and the good times that we have. And of course, we have <laughs> way more good times than bad times. But we want to show you that, hey, anything can happen. Murphy's Law, if you think it can't, you're in trouble. So you always got to prepare. Fortunately, we have phone numbers. And fortunately, Richard and Chris are wonderful people that Check this out. We haven't never even met them yet. This is our first time today that we was going to meet them. And now they got to come to our rescue. Oh, that's a blessing. I mean, a blessing. So we're just here patiently waiting. Well, oh, I don't know what else to say. I said I'm done talking. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> there he is. A man to our rescue. Yep. <laughs> Rich and Chris, right there. Here I come. To the rest of the day. Save the day, save the day. <laughs>
<laughs> See you, man. Nice look, to meet you look, guys. Hold on, hold on. Wow, nice wow, to meet you. The first time we meet, we got to get rescued. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Thank nice you. Oh, yeah. oh, I told it to me too. I got the camera rolling, so. <laughs> okay, so what happened? Leaving the campground, I'm like, okay, I'm Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. Just so we're on camera, right? Yeah. Yes. This is a Honda. <laughs> I knew I it. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Harley. We're picking up a Honda. That's right. Yeah, but that. it's not an engine problem. And it's it's a problem. It leaves us stranded. So but it's, it's a problem. problem. You're here on the side of the road. Like, I'm not worried about it. It's on Accelerate Pass 40. So it's on, a, it's on like limp mode then. It's on limp mode. Yep, it was. Yeah, she it's could. Only yeah, wonderful yeah. To go up the ramp. It should be able to go up the, right ramp. Up the ramp. Yeah. So you guys <gasps> Um, for at least for a year, a year. Now we've done it before, but last year we were out like six yeah, months, so we had to go back, cut it short because we had a death in the family. Just go up, turn around, so we get a straight shot. Okay. And I put cones down there because cars was coming super fast, even though I, I didn't put a lot up now on it, but it was slowing down once they saw the cones. Oh, the day we've been it? waiting for, except <laughs> we're getting rescued. Exactly. Yeah, well, it's a good thing that we were here. Oh, what else thank would you, you do? Lesson. She don't have reverse, so I got to use my... You want me to push you back? Please. <laughs> you want me to push you back? That's a little. You ready? Wait, one, <laughs> two, yes. three. There we go. Once I start going down, you should be okay. Stop, stop, stop. Let it go. I got it. <laughs> hey, nah. Yeah, now, who we, says, who says F6B don't have reverse? Have reverse? Yeah. Who says it don't have reverse? <laughs> what, it hit the middle? Oh, that's too low. One. It, it, the bike's too low. It's oh, that's what it is? Right so it hit the bottom? Yeah, the Probably the oil pan. The, the, the what? The belly pan. The belly pan? Well, I'm, I'm glad it wasn't a high ramp because I'd have went. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, that's why we got the belly pan. Hit that belly pan though. Yeah. So, so well, I, have to I don't know if that caused one. it because that's not new. Now there's another problem. I have a belly pan, and JetBlue is too low to go <laughs> up the ramp. And so now we're gonna find a solution. Right now, right now. What'd you say? We are so appreciative of you guys coming out here to help us I'm with this. Cause we're... We're looking forward to seeing Okay, we made it to the dealer. Okay, getting our bike checked in. Rich and Chris is out there waiting for us. And we had to ride it to the dealership. And the fastest she can go is 40 miles an hour, so that was torture. And we had to get on the freeway for at least one mile. She is getting it checked in so they can look at it, find out what's going on. And I think uh, she needs a new bike. That's my, <laughs> right. that's my ATM machine. Thing. <laughs> we made it to the Honda shop with Cake Bike. Only problem is, it's the clutch that's out, and they gotta fix a new clutch. So she's on the back with, I mean, she's in a car with Rich and Chris. And we're going back to their house, touring the bike and bubbles. Because the guy could get it done, but there was two things that was the problem. One was, it's gonna take a month. But that wasn't as much as a problem as he said they never ever worked on the clutch on the gold wing before. Now that becomes a problem. And I think the deal is because, you know, we don't have too many problems with gold wings. So they never had a clutch problem with gold wing before, so they obviously never worked on a clutch before. And with that, we decided, nah, we'll bring it to somebody who can do it. And the guy said, well, maybe you can get a U-Haul U -haul, and tow it to where you normally get it fixed. <laughs> we're like, we're from California. We're not going home no time soon. So with Rich, not a Rich, help, 
he actually knew a guy that works on Hondas. And Cake wound up getting a hold of that guy. And of course, he can't get to the bike till Tuesday, but he can get to the bike. So now they left me. Fortunately, I have the address and go and catch up with them. There we go. And now I am going to meet them by their house. Hopefully we get some rest, chit chat. Now, if you don't know Two Wheels Big Life, there are people who set the standards when it came to living on a motorcycle on the road. Although Cake and I have been living on a motorcycle the past eight years, it's normally three to six months at a time. This is our first time we're doing actually one year on a bike and we absolutely loving it today just happened to be one of those days where when things go wrong it really go wrong and we have an estimate on how much it's gonna cost to fix that particular bike and before everybody starts saying okay get a new bike get a new bike that's uh, not gonna happen because she loves her bike and it's paid for and an estimate is in our emergency funds that's great so we actually had enough budget to just in case something like this occurs which we wasn't expecting this to where we can get it fixed without having us in our vacation so that's cool anyway i'm going to turn off just want to give you guys an update of what's going on with her bike and i'll see you guys when we back at their house